Yo, welcome back to You for the Five Morning Show, the Monday edition, actually. And now we're taking a ride into the main talking point for Nigeria at 61. Like we established, in the entirety of the month of October, we're going to be looking at Nigeria in different phases and, of course, fractions. Today we have a young Nigerian. He is actually passionate about what young people should do. His name is Abiola Oluanishola. He joins us today. Uh, he's actually the president of Junior Chambers International, an organization known for championing the cause for a sustainable society and, of course, doing a lot when it comes to leadership and, of course, bringing several school of thoughts to bear. Abiola, good morning and uh, many thanks for joining us this morning. I want to believe you had me. I feel like, did you, did you get my establishment? How are you doing today? OK, we'll see how we get him back to the platform, uh, like we established. We're looking at uh, the Nigerian young person and, of course, community and social development in the country. Uh, technology might want to be, uh, be uh, a deterrent to this conversation, but we're actually ready to give it a match and get Abiola to join us. So I'll try to establish again. If you can hear me, Abiola Oluwani Shola, did you get my introduction? All right, we'll see how we bring him back to the conversation. But of course, uh, you have an opportunity to be part of it. We have about 25 minutes to get into the subject matter. And uh, the idea is to look at the Nigerian youth and of course, community development. What are we doing? We've established here in a particular occasion when uh, Alex Aigbe uh, actually got an award for one of the uh, 50 influential young persons in Ajegule was with us. Uh, he is somebody that started a process of community development with a focus on cleaning. Now, he runs the Clean Up Initiative that does several things. One on one side is to go and clean the gutters, I mean the drainages, in different streets and locations in Lagos, Nigeria, and beyond. The second one is to actually recycle. What do I mean? The pet uh, bottles. Uh, you finish drinking a particular soft drink and you throw away the can from the window. Well, somebody on the other side is picking them up. Now, growing up in Ajegule as an individual, we used to call those that does that kind of a thing, though they don't do it in the corporate side or with the good looks, as kungis. They carry their big bag and they're picking peg bottles and they go to sell it. We never understand what that really meant until the likes of Alex Aigbe now took it up and they are giving it a good face. Well-dressed individuals picking up pet bottles around the streets. And guess what? He has an initiative that he took, that he took to schools. Uh, uh, schools now get their pet bottles ready. Clean up initiative come to the schools, pick it up, take it to the recycle plant, sell it sell it and actually have the money sent back to the school to pay for students that are unable to pay their school fees. Wisdom. Let's see how we get into this conversation for youth and social development. Abiola Oluwani Shola, once again, uh, good morning and many thanks for joining us on this conversation on You for the Five Morning Show. Abiola, how are you doing this morning? Good morning. Yes, okay, it's fine. I can hear you now. Uh, you are the president of Junior Chamber International. I'm fine, are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, great. Thanks. Uh, I was actually bothered that. Me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you, yes. I was initially bothered that technology might want to deter us from having this conversation. I've lost about seven to ten minutes of my time with you, but I'll try to drive into the subject matter. Let's get just for 120 seconds. What is the core objective of the Junior Chambers International as it concerns young people in Nigeria? Abiola, if you got my um, question. So, uh, in Nigeria, uh, is related to uh, Junior Chambers uh, International and to uh, include uh, young people to become leaders. Yes, very well. All right, so uh, those uh, equip um, young people to become uh, leaders with the tools and resources uh, needed to face 
uh, the big yes that and economic growth, uh, ensuring quality education and promoting our values of ethical leadership and also transformities of development and we hold events for university, you can't get it in your car, and it gives you the opportunity to become your best self through programs and impact projects. So that, that's what we do in organization. Okay, all right. Well, uh, technology, uh, internet penetration, and the challenges it cannot be overemphasized. But let's try and see how we we'll get into it. Let's see if it stabilizes as we continue. Let's go to the second one. The topic before us is uh, youth community development and uh, being uh, an active citizen. Let, let's take it from the last one. What does it mean for me to be an active citizen? Can you establish looking at what your organization preaches? So, uh, being an active citizen, uh, we are that uh, individuals uh, who see challenges not an obstacle, but as opportunities. And we work together to make sure as opportunities. As we work as a united team to create real impact. Uh, we amplify our goals in order to be that organization that unites all sector of the society. We are that, that individual uh, members of the youth that we feel that um, is not, not all about um, blaming the government. It's all about how can you contribute to your own quota to the development of the society. Hmm. Hmm. This is really tough for us. Uh, okay, uh, Abiola, we're really finding it uh, difficult to get uh, a clear picture with uh, you on this conversation. But I'll take a second one. Let's see if it works this particular time. Let's get to uh, the sustainable development goals. Uh, I understand uh, non-governmental organizations such as JCI plays a lot on the part of picking up the United Nations SDG and the drive initiatives as that. But let's look at what's your evaluation of the average Nigerian young person in terms of aligning with what the SDGs are and how it concerns young people. All right, so um, looking at the SDG, you agree with me that SDG is all about what happens in our environment. Because um, when you look from the goal one to the goal seven, address each of our activities, each of events, each of our things that has balls around everyone and individual in the society. So for us as an organization, we, 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 we look for one with certain uh, SDG goals and we use it to address some uh, low problems. Maybe when we probably assess a particular problem and we felt that this uh, is it, uh, quality level, then what we then look at we also contribute to, to the resources kit or by the student in that area. Like one of our local organizations is currently planning on them how they want to get a food to wear for students or for at the particular school um, around um, uh, Aja Aji. So because hmm. the very carried out with the analysis and the school that it doesn't have food to wear, hmm. they walk to the school with their bare food. And the, what we can do is give them uh, food. And in such situations, are getting such um, giving them food, addressing the pertinent problem they are facing currently because we felt that they 
can we give them the footwear? Some did not have where to sit. We make uh, we make chair for them to be able to have at least a reasonable conducive environment for them to learn. So we we as an organization, like I said earlier, we are that young persons an individual can also contribute our own quota to the development of our society and that's okay all right Let, let's touch light nigeria at 61. let's talk to, touch light nigeria at 61 now yes thanks thanks for bringing us up to speed with that uh, good initiative there a noble cause let's let's look at nigeria at 61 and the role of young people in leadership now, I, I, you might not want to go 100% political, but uh, someone was here on Friday. Okay, during the week? Yes, Thursday or Wednesday, I guess. And he said something, that if you don't belong to any political party, you are part of the pro problem of the country. What has been your view about young people and their active role in leadership through the political parties? What's your thoughts? And what has been the engagement of JCI uh, with young people in alignment with leadership. Mm. So for our own organization, we are not partisan, non-government organization. We don't dwell into politics. But we also believe uh, good governor and was evidence that that is not changing what. So, uh, any of the young members that want to um, be that is trying to probably uh, go into this, I would just encourage them to become a leader because we're not talking about a leader. Uh, uh, we're not talking about leaders that, that all they know is for themselves. We're not talking about central leaders, leaders that, are, that have the passion, that are determined to change. Narration. And the only way you can get, or the only organization that can give you uh, insight into that is by joining JCI. And because JCI uh, make young persons to develop their leadership skill, why get an opportunity to benefit society at a certain level? You become a leader. And at the same time, you're still giving back to the society. JCI will give you a platform that uh, for bring the future of our world. Uh, many men they are as they are saying that they said uh when we talk about future we say that future is tomorrow that future is not future is now we need young persons we need young ones to also go into politics go into that get that politics do not that they should have to benefit to ensure that the, the uh, their determination their interest is of the people not of themselves so for us like i said when we with politics that organization that always was developed for our society okay great Let, let's now let's now take it one step further now um, in, in terms of skill sets what, what kind of skills can one get uh looking at the subject matter there community development if i have to uh, contribute to my community uh what are the skill sets that I can get from JCI that will help me make direct impact? If you can speak to the subject matter with examples, like say three different examples, skill sets that I can get when I identify with your organization that will help me impact my community. Okay, so um, in our organization, we have freedom of opportunity. Uh, we have individual opportunity in it, uh, focusing on personal growth, learning, and improvement. JCI, mm. which ensure that members continue to improve and level up their skills and abilities. Um, business and enterprise uh, provides businesses, uh, innovation, renewal, young entrepreneur award, open up new opportunity for business-minded members for community actions uh, we contribute and providing solutions to problems where we live and where we work 
need analysis would have uh, carried out to determine what is the what is the, the current problem that we need to provide solution to. So mm -hmm. by doing that, we will be able to address the most important problem at that time. So as a member, it would have been know to address uh, issue in the food called JCR rights. This are about to review involve um uh sustain so you address the issue that after thing and we also have international collaboration which uh for a connection between all people for a more uh, forward uh, that event bring uh, them together uh, from all over 100 countries to meet and share ideas. You get to have knowledge on how you can address such of the such problems that exist in our country. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is uh, getting a little bit uh, to the drive drive out part, but uh, let's now come to your evaluation of Nigeria 61. Uh, what are your fears? As, as the president of this organization, what are your fears for the Nigerian young person? Looking at the issues around insecurity, economic realities, how inflation is taking over uh, the marketplace and other challenges. What are your fears and what are your recommendations for the Nigerian young person? As Abiola now, I'm talking about you as an individual. Okay, uh, I don't think you got, you got that. Uh, so, um, yes, please go ahead. So, so me. Okay, so Abiola, this conversation is very important to us as a, as a media house, but uh, hmm, we have been uh, inhibited. I think we we'll have to do this again. Uh, Abiola, Abiola, if you can, if you can, if you can hear me, it's very important. I, I need you to understand that. I don't know if you get my my questions clearly over there, but we had we're having serious reception here. We have serious issues getting your points as clear as possible so that our viewers can tap into this. So we might want to do a rework of this particular interview with you and see if you could do a live interview here in the studio. That would be important because uh, uh, the invitation came and we thought we could grant it. Uh, but today, the internet has really disrupted that conversation. Let's see if we do this again with you and uh, take it as important as it is has appeared to us. The subject matter is very apt, but uh, unfortunately, we have to apologize to our same viewers for the disruption there, inability to get Abiola Lua, uh, Lauren, Lauren Nisola for actually giving us uh, his time. Uh, Abiola, thanks for joining us. We'll do this again subsequently uh, to break the barriers of technology gaps. We'll do that subsequently. Okay, so we'll go for a break and come back for the wrap-up part of the U45 Morning Show today. Uh, many thanks for staying with us.